Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. Hi Diane. Yes, I'm going to do a, a what sold video, what sold in the past week from the, I think it was the 5th to the 11th till yesterday. Uh, I sold on both eBay and Poshmark this time, so almost evenly. And I had a better week. Uh, in the past couple for sure. So, uh, yeah, let me wait till a couple people come in here. I'll wait till after I do this to tell you what else has happened. <clears throat> ah, you see Penny's over there in her bed. There she is. Say hi, Penny. Say hi. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I sold 12 items on eBay, and I had 11 uh, singles. I had 11 sales on Poshmark, but I actually sold 13 items. So there was a couple uh, double bundle orders. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetie. Uh, yeah, so let me uh, turn here to my share the screen thing. And I'll show you what I sold. <clears throat> Okay, the first thing is uh, by Girl Crazy. This is a actually a women's size small. It's called Girl Crazy, but it's a women's size small. It's new with tags. Uh, it's a red and white gingham shirt, button down the front. Uh, sold this for $12. I think that was the best offer. It went to Bowman, North Dakota. And everything has shipping on here on everything, I think, this week. So uh, they also paid shipping. Okay, the next thing is a pair of little uh, shorts by American Eagle. They're kind of stretchy. Get my arrow out of the way here. Size 2 in this uh, teal color. Why isn't that showing? Having, I'm having problems here. Well, here they are. American Eagle, size 2. Uh, they're denim, and they're this teal, pretty teal color. I took a best offer of $9 for them. They went to Jacksonville, Florida. Next thing is this uh, set of, well, it's three. It, these were mine. I collected flow blue and anything blue and white. These are flow blue, but they, they're not really, you know, a lot of flow blue, the dye is really running. This wasn't so much, uh, but I read about them and it is flow blue. So these are by Dalton Burslem, Royal Porcelain, and uh, seven inch plates, like dessert plates, I guess they would be. Uh, a lot of three sold for a best offer of $30 and went to Marietta, Georgia. <clears throat> okay, this is a uh, top by Talbots. It's just a button up shirt, size six in this orange color. I think this was striped. Yeah, had a little stripes in it. And uh, this sold for a best offer of $8, which I took. I almost did, but then I thought, I am trying to rid out my clot, my inventory. Went to Crosby, Texas. So somebody got a nice uh, buy on that. They paid uh, shipping on it. So they paid a total of 
actually. Uh, this is by Ru Ruby Road. Ruby Road. It's a crop jacket, uh, size women's 14 petite. It's a real shiny gold fabric, and it has elastic around the hips, buttons down. It's made like a jean jacket, but the fabric isn't denim. Uh, this sold for $13.44. That's an offer I sent out to watchers, and it went to Tampa, Florida. I sold a plush this week. I don't know where my arrow is. There it is. Uh, 12 inch. This was pretty uh, like medium size one. It was a Coles Care little penguin. Uh, sold for $9.89 plus shipping. And it went to, looks like, Ilian, New York. This is a Brooks Brothers shirt. It was uh, striped. 16 and a half, I think this was. Yeah, by 34 sleeve. This sold for $16.77. That was an offer I sent out to watchers. Went to Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Uh, this is a Knox, uh, Knox Rose, which I sell a lot of. I sold this at a lower price than I really wanted to, but uh, they offered $13.19, which was sort of a strange offer, but I did take it. And it went to Vancouver, Washington. They paid shipping. Uh, had balloon sleeves, and it was a pretty little shirt. I low him. Uh, this is a shirt by Cooley Bar. I never heard of that before, but it uh, retailed for a lot, for quite a lot of money. This was a women's 3X, had sun protection, uh, knew a tag, had the tag on it. It sold for $26.77, which was an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to Hammond, Oregon. This is a pair of Lucy stretch pants. Uh, the brand is just Lucy. Uh, they're workout pants, but they have, they're sort of a flare leg. And uh, they went to Dover, Delaware, sold for $17.22, which was the sale price. I would think that was an offer I sent out, but actually it was a sale price, I guess. Uh, yeah. The next thing is a pair of stretch-on pants, uh, pull-on pants. These were black, had a wide waistband on them. They were a size extra large with a tapered leg. They sold for $15 best offer. They went to Riverbank, uh, California. Let's ship it. And the last eBay item is this bright pair of Pink denim jeans in a size 10 petite, slim leg, and they're by Style & Company. Sold for $12.77, an offer I sent out to watchers. And these little pink pants went to Austin, Texas. <clears throat> okay, now we'll go to the Poshmark items. Uh, this is uh, by Newport News. It's a sequin top. Just the front was sequin. The back was like a uh, rayon or a stretchy type fabric. It was like a crop top, tank top, uh, silk blend, and it sold for $16. Went to Raleigh, North Carolina. This had a shipping discount, so I received $10.78. This is a BDG sweater dress, a women's small, uh, gray, black heather, fit and flare. Uh, it was 
like above the knee. It was sort of almost a mini dress. It was cute. It sold for $25. Went to Bristol, Rhode Island, and I received $20 from that. Seems to me I showed this last week. I'm not, I have to check to make sure I didn't count these twice. Uh, this is a Forever 21 halter top in a small, new with tags, uh, had little uh, straps on the shoulder and the back tied. It was an open back and the it tied at the neck. This is new. New. It sold for sell for uh, ten dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, sold for ten dollars and I received seven dollars and five cents. This went to Hanover, Pennsylvania. Uh, Levi Seersucker Bermuda Shorts. These were a women's size four. These were really cute. I like the Seersucker. They were almost like a denim uh, fabric, but uh, Seersucker with the tiny little stripes. These sold for $17, and I received $13.60. They went to New York, New York. Okay, this was part of a bundle, just a two-item um, bundle. This first shirt was Eli Cattleman, Western shirt, the men's medium. Long sleeve, it had pearl snap uh, closures. A uh, little Western shirt, sold for $23. This also went to Austin, Texas. I, wonder, I don't think it's the same person. No. This went to Austin, Texas also, and it it was bundled along with this shirt, another plaid shirt by Peter Millar. This is a size large. It's more of a dressier shirt. It's not Western. It's just a button-down casual shirt, I guess. Um, this sold for... Uh, where's my thing? Oh. Sold for $36. So if they would have bought one more item, I have, they get 15% off if they buy three items, but they only bought two. Anyway, the whole thing came to $45. I received $36 on those two items. <clears throat> Next thing is a pair of Clark's clock clogs. That's hard for me to say. Clark's Clogs Mules, women's size nine. They were patent leather, but sort of looked, had a reptile print on the leather. Uh, they sold for $16, went to Chester, Virginia, and I received $12.80. Okay, this is a Brooks Brothers 346 wool pencil skirt in a women's eight. It's gray, it's lined, it's like a career wear uh, skirt. Sold for $20, went to Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I received $16 off that sale. Uh, this little dress by Ann Taylor Loft, uh, this is just caught like a cotton. I think it was all cotton or mostly cotton. Had a self tie on it. It was fitted with all this ruffle around the neck and down on the V neck. Uh, really cute. Uh, sold for $18. I received $14.40. And the girl wrote me a note to if I, she planned, she wanted to get it by the 17th. Of March, she was going on a trip and really wanted this little dress. So it went out in plenty of time for her to get it because it's going to Saratoga Springs, New York. Uh, this is a, a really good brand, expensive piece. M.M. Lafleur. I've had this for a long time. 
he finally did sell for $58. I don't think I ever marked that down. I kept it right around there. So it finally did sell to somebody in Reno, Nevada. And there was a shipping discount, but I still received $44.38 for that top. Uh, this is a part of a bundle. This is, this. it was this pair of little shorts, short shorts by Express in a size 10 in this taupe color. Uh, they, those sold for $18. And then along in the same package was this pair of Converse, um, sorry here, Converse All-Star sneakers in a women's six and a half. Uh, yeah, the side had, it had some blue on it, like the sides had the blue. But they were in really good condition. They sold for $21. So total... Uh, $31.20 and I chopped off <laughs> the part that tells you what I made so 20% off of that so that's what I made uh, the next item and the last items these really cute little wedge shoes uh, slingback shoes by Arturo Chiang uh, size 9B. They were patent leather. Had a little bow on the front here. Excellent condition. I sold a pair of Arturo Chiang shoes last week too, I think. And those are the only two I had. So that brand is gone. These sold for $30 and I received $24 uh, from the shoes. Let me show you the overview. Now this is just eBay. This is my little chart. Nothing over a hundred dollars, but I didn't have any. Uh, I didn't have any zero days either, so that was good. And the numbers not so hot, still going down, but my net sales amount went up a little bit. So those are my nets. Net. Um, or my gross sales 275 and my net 169.45. Average sale price $22.92. I did not do my, I didn't figure out my Poshmark numbers. I'm sorry, but I will have to tell you why here. Uh, let me get back here tell you. Uh, a horrible thing happened yesterday. You know, my daughter, her whole life is her horse. I'm talking about her whole being is wrapped around that horse. Uh, yesterday, they called her at eight in the morning that uh, he was colicking but pretty badly, and they had already called the vet, so she rushed to the uh, barn. And the vet came, and they couldn't get him even tubed to put the oil down. He still had a lot of contents in his stomach, which he shouldn't have had any. So there was some sort of blockage, and uh, she did an exam on, a rectal exam on him and felt that the colon was starting to twist and that he needed to go to the hospital immediately. So they got a trailer and carted him to the hospital where they have all the fancy equipment. This hospital is Equine Specialty Hospital in Ravenna, or in Burton, I guess it is. Uh, this is where they fixed her first horse when he had, uh, a, we thought it was a similar thing, but it really wasn't. Uh, her first horse was named Satire, and he came through that bad surgery really well. This time, this uh, she had the same doctor. A really, really nice uh, uh, doctor. 
uh, she was so great with Michelle and she remembered Satire. And she knew this horse because this horse had a big show. Uh, he was a big time show horse before. He's 20, was 20 years old. And uh, yeah, so they did all kinds of x-rays, MRIs, or whatever they do to, to find what was happening inside of him. Horses can get this type of a tumor. It's a lymphoma. It's not lymphoma. It's lymphoma. And this type of a tumor, it's benign, but it has a stalk on it or a tail. Uh, it can be in the horse for a while, and you never know it unless you'd have these tests done. Uh, he he was colicking a little more each time, but still nothing that they couldn't handle uh, at the barn. So when the doctor saw this tail and what was happening to his intestines, this tail wraps around the intestines and cuts off the blood supply. This is a major, major surgery that most horses don't survive. It ends up being hugely expensive. And then a horse, you can't even say that the horse is going to make it. Um, he was in terrible pain. He was all drugged up, of course, and uh, the doctor talked to her for a long time, and the decision was finally made. I was on the phone with her this whole time uh, from about 9 in the morning on, and uh, of course, we're both crying, and she doesn't she has had to make this decision it's just a horrible decision you know it, it is with any animal but i'm telling you right now as bad it is as it is with dogs it seems to be even worse the bigger the animal is especially when you are so attached to a horse she is so attached to this horse as she was her first horse but uh she she stepped up and she made the decision that was best for the horse and the horse uh they put him to sleep she was with him of horse of course the whole time and uh this was a gorgeous gorgeous arab horse she didn't think she'd ever own something as beautiful as him. So she was having a really hard time of it. And the doctor didn't even want her to drive home, but she finally got herself together enough she did drive home because it is a ways. <laughs> Let me call you back. I'm on YouTube. Okay. All right. And, uh, yeah, so she did get home okay, and I talked to her for several times last night. Uh, I let her friend know, De Deanna, her best friend, and she called her, and she was over there today with her. So, anyway, I wanted to show you a couple pictures if I can do, if I can find them here when I share the screen. Just about this, just this beautiful horse and her. And then I'll come back here. This is her, his name is Adonis. And there's another picture too I wanna to try to uh, put on here. Uh, 
This is her and her horse. So, yeah, it's, it's just horrible, a horrible time for her right now. So I know in a few days she will write a whole thing about him and put it on Facebook. That's what she usually does when this type of thing happens to any of her animals. Uh, I think writing helps her. So let me get back here. So yeah, it's, it's a horrible thing. And the other little thing that I wanted to tell you is, <laughs> and why, I canceled my pullets, at least for now. And the reason being is mostly the weather. They were supposed to come on the 27th of March. Well, our weather here is supposed to be terrible cold and awful, like February was supposed to be, all month which would force me to keep the chickens still in the house, still in the basement. And uh, it was, would be harder to get them, uh, you know, moved outside because the, of the weather. So I called them and canceled at my pet chicken. They were so very nice. And I mean, people must do this all the time. And uh, no problem. Uh, I'll get my money back on my card and uh, I can reorder whenever I want. So she said that they will get more pullets, uh, probably do more pullets for sale like May in May, which will be better. <laughs> so I'll have to decide whether I want to do that or not. In the meantime, I figured I, I have to, the, the little coop in the middle of my yard just isn't going to make it. I'm going to have to buy another coop. That's going to be an expense. Just a little yard coop. Like for three, it's going to be about $300. And then I have to fix some fencing around the wire run. There's lots to do before they come. So I'll have to decide... Uh, what to do when they put pullets up for sale again more in the spring, more went toward the warm weather. But, yeah, that's... Well, my, my reselling news was better, but this has just been a horrible day. The, the whole time, also, I had people come... Well, I was on the phone with Michelle yesterday and in horrible condition, the people came to clean my basement. <laughs> they were here from 11 in the morning till about, I don't know, almost four in the afternoon. They did a tremendous job. They had a little dumpster with them. That's how much stuff was down there. And uh, I didn't. I expected to be down there with them more than I was. So heaven no, I'm glad that Samantha and I put aside some things that I knew I wanted. And they kept those in like in the corner. But I'm sure there was a lot more that I would have said save. But uh, hey, I hadn't used any of that stuff in four or five years. So I figured... You know, I'm not going to miss it. I won't even know what it is because I wasn't down there. So the basement is super clean. They not only just took out all the junk and all the stuff I didn't want, they uh, had this huge shop vac and shop vac the whole thing. And then they washed all the shelving. They washed on top my washer and dryer. I mean, all the tops of everything it's all washed off it's a cement floor so they can't wash the floor but uh yeah they also unloaded my little freezer downstairs took it over to the drain chopped all the ice out of it that food was i wanted all that food thrown away that was in there 
So they bagged it up and put it outside for me because I wanted the containers. Of course, it was still there from the leftovers. So they left that there for me to go through later. And they made the, they cleaned out the, the little freezer and everything. It's a little tiny uh, stand up freezer. So cleaned it all up, moved it where I wanted it. It's just at the bottom of the steps now, easy to get to. Plugged it in. It's all ready to go. I have to level it, though. Other than that, yeah, they did a tremendous job. So I found them through Angie's list. I think it's uh, AV. I don't want to say the wrong name, and their card is in the their card is in the kitchen. But if I remember next time I'm on, I will tell you their name. Of course, they're just around here. So, so that is my uh, thank you, Diane. Yeah. Um. So Echo is our only horse that's left. My little Echo, my big Echo. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping Michelle doesn't ever think of getting another horse. I, I'm not going to discuss that with her, of course, at all. It took her four years after her first horse where she, before she could even look at another horse. So. Uh, she, I think she would like a dog. So down the line sometime, I think she will. She misses having a dog. So I think that will be a good thing for her to have. So I'm going to close now and uh, be back sometime in the middle of the week with something or other. Uh either a cooking video or something with my chickens if the weather gets better. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to, though, so it'll probably be something in the house. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to close for now. Thank you all for listening. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.